Sorry guys, I don't know what happened. The stream crashed. That was super weird. Sorry about that. My internet connection is really good, but then sometimes just completely cuts out for no reason at all. I think we're good now though. I think we're good. Sorry about that. Let me let me get a new link up in Discord. All right, there we go. New stream link is up. We're back. We're back. Sorry about that. We got we got some more Covenant cruisers to hunt down. I don't know what what happened. To, it's like I don't know the exact moment that it died at. So we'll just uh, we'll give that a little round two. You know. See, there's a cruiser taking off over there. I like these two cruisers, just like flying in unison. Be a bit of fun to take them out. Take some archer missiles, deal some good damage. Shields are down. Let's see if we can't get a Mac cannon in there. Ooh, that did some work. The other ship doesn't seem to be too bothered by this. To be fair, they don't fight back yet. All right, Mac cannon, can we seal the deal? Ooh, that was a lot of venting. Nice. Hey, Phoenix of War, thanks so much for the fiver again. What if small parts of the ship start to break off as it takes more damage? Uh, yeah, that's kind of the goal. I don't know how what parts I can really break off of the cruiser, but I want the cruiser to have like detailed damage states and things to it because uh, you know, there's a lot of potential with that, I think. Hold on, there's a cruiser coming around here. I can show you guys kind of what happens when it takes uh, damage a bit more. They are passive NPCs right now, yeah. I, uh, I kind of needed that for testing just so I could see how the damage states work easily. Uh, Demon, thank you for the fiver. Good to see you, man. Unrelated to Halo at all, I saw you had fun with Tears of the Kingdom. Using percentages, how far do you think you are in the game? Uh, oh, I was playing Breath of the Wild, not Tears of the Kingdom. But I was really enjoying it. Okay, look at that, though. I, as it took damage there... Oh, it kind of switched out of the damage state. I'll have to go do it on the last one. One more cruise. You can see it glowing over there in the distance. Um, but yeah, I haven't played Tears of the Kingdom yet. Or is this the latest Halo Wars game? <laughs> kind of feels like it a little bit. How am I? I'm good. I'm good. I've been having a great day today. Small parts of the hull come off. Yeah, I'm really excited to do frigate destruction. I'd like to touch up the destruction states on the, um, the cruisers over here a bit more. And then once I do that, I really want to, um... Oh, that was a hit. I think. Pretty sure that was it. Yeah, I want to touch up the destruction states a bit more, because there's no pieces that fall off yet. God, that thing is so far away. Asteroids in the way, no! Pummel its shields. Cripple the shields. There we go. So you can see it kind of vents atmosphere at a certain damage level. And it'll have like fire billowing off of it. Which I think looks pretty cool. Oh, I gotta remove that giant lens flare. I just did this before stream. But yeah, you can see it's just got like a whole bunch of fire going all over it. Also seems to disappear at a certain range for some reason. I'll have to adjust its fade out range. But it looks pretty sweet. Cruiser's looking nice. And it's a lot of fun to fight them. Obviously, I'm not getting uh, fighting back at me, but like it has shields and like a bunch of other stuff. But you can see it's got like a whole custom shield model. I don't know if we can see it recharge, but it do be a thing. Plasma venting out of it. That is so bright, my eyes. My eyes. Um. Oh, blah, blah. Let's see. Uh, C. Brando, thank you so much for the two. This is awesome so far. Rejected. Great work. Thank you. I'm having a ton of fun with it, and I'm glad that you like it. Makes me happy. Demon has a fiver as well. Thank you. All units. Local units. All you Local. All. Lo all. Lo local. All. All units. Local. All units. 
gonna be me playing this. I'm excited too because I want the frigate to take damage and that idea we came up with a long time ago is still stuck in my head where basically the um, the ship itself will have voice lines and things for like the UNSC where it's like whole integrity at 60% uh, compromise this and that like little tidbits and things like that would be sick. There we go, we cleaned them all up, all four cruisers taken down. Not bad, not bad. The ship can talk? Uh, it's... Yeah, the ship talks. It's like Cars. You ever seen the Cars universe? Did you know Halo is in the Cars universe? Oh, let me turn my webcam on, sorry. I'm scare you guys with my face. Huh! Oh. Huh! Oh. The ship talk, I'll make sure it sounds cool and like kind of uh, immersive, accurate, and all that stuff. Let's get me organized on camera there. Well, yeah, that's that's how things are looking right now. Uh, I kind of want to add some damage and destruction states to the cruisers to the point where uh, they like break into multiple pieces. Because I mean, right now they look pretty decent. I got the cool engine effects I spent way too long working on yesterday, which I'm a big fan of. They don't fire weapons yet, because our weapon systems aren't really complete. Give a ship active camo? Fuck, that's... No, that won't be fun. I don't feel like that would be fun. Maybe? Would it be fun? I, I suppose it could be. Oh, look at that. Synchronized swimming. Look at him go. Beautiful. I'm so excited. Like We got the AI ships in. They're starting to have destruction states. The weapons, at least on the frigate, are pretty fun. And we got all these down here soon. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea how I'm going to take this thing and make it tiny. Because every time I do, the game crashes. And it's like, you have too many polygons. So I'm going to have to do some, some fucky-wucky stuff to make it work. The destroyer should be really easy to do. I can have that in like no time at all. Um, sorry about that noise. Is the plan to make it so you place a or pick a loadout and spawn it as that ship uh, with Megalo? So I'm I'm actually I was inspired by your Halo Wars mod green where you go to a, a console and it like picks a ship when you press a button, but it'll be more simplified than yours with like the whole UI. It'll be like you are in like you you spawn in basically. Where is it? Uh, where's the room? Like in a room like this, I have a little teensy tiny room, but it'll be like a spaceship. It won't just be a concrete room. And you'll be able to like see out into the battlefield and see all the battles going on like out there, and uh, and it'll just be like a little console basically, like how you're, like like literally just a simpler version of Halo Wars. Like you'll have a hologram of the ship, and if it's available, it'll be blue, and if it's not, it'll be red. And then you like go up to it, you press E on it, and then it like does a whole little thing where it's like, and then you ideally you'll at first for the early versions of this mod, you'll probably just like spawn in, but later on in the mod, I want to make it so you like. Zoom, slip space jump in because I'm really really itching to make a cool slip space effect So I really want to do that. I love that you can see the ships by the way You can literally see the cruisers flying around over there There's the little UNSC frigate that little orange dot where my cursor is and the cruisers are all those little purplish dots floating around What are your planned options for forge? I don't really have any plans for forge at the moment Currently, I'm just planning on doing um, just uh, like one game mode. If I have some Forge ideas, I might do something with it. But yeah, right now it's literally just for this as a game mode. Energy projector next. It should be easy to do since it's literally just a glassing beam, but aimable. I want to do the um, just like what are they, like the photon beams or whatever, where they're like legitimately. How do I put it? I don't know, they're just like lasers, you know, you see them all the time in the cutscenes. I want to add those to the cruiser next. And I also want to make the uh, missiles they shoot, like, properly aimable. Make it work kind of like the missiles here on the frigate. These, the, the archer missiles. Demon, thank you for the fiver, man. Hot take, this map doesn't need forge. True. The map doesn't need forge, it feels very extra for everything that's on the map currently. 
Not to say it's like a bad idea by any means, but like, it's just extra. Oh, that was a hit from the Mac. Goodbye, cruiser. Oh, it's too far out. Come on, come on. It's within range of my tracking, but I don't know if the missiles on the archers can, or the archers can, they can make it that far. Oh, that was a hit. Shields are down. Come on. One more. One more. One more! That was a hit. There we go. Cruisers down. Discord.gg slash rejected shotgun. I'm gonna have I'm I'm definitely gonna need like a long cooldown on the Mac gun, because this thing, as hard as it is to aim, if you do get a hit currently, it does an insane amount of damage. Oh, that was a hit. I saw the shields pop. Oh, that was a hit. One more. Woo. Dude, sniping with the Mac cannon is so satisfying. The cruisers do not stand a chance. I think that was all the ships. Oh, there's a, some of the cruisers just like to go way down. Oh, there's been one stalking me the whole time below me or behind me. It's trying to do evasive maneuvers. Not on my watch. Sweet! Beautiful. Uh, hey, Half Dead, thank you for the $2 super chat. Appreciate it. What did I miss? I missed the last couple streams. Uh, we Everything is shrunken down now. Uh, the ships are now one-tenth of their original size in the game, so... You can see if I spawn in as a Spartan on top of the ship now. It's not that very big. I mean, it is still big, but it's not like massive by any means. Um, so everything's shrunken down, and what that means is the scale of everything can be much bigger. The map itself has an insane amount of space for ship combat. So you could actually do like mini slip space uh, jumps and stuff. It's really cool. Um, I've got AI cruisers currently. These are just for test. Oh, let me turn the music down. The AI cruisers are just for testing currently, but uh, they do work. They're just target practice right now, but... Uh, the uh, frigate has a full suite of weapons that I'll have to tweak and adjust over time. The cruisers technically have weapons, but the AI aren't using them because I need them to be target practice. The cruiser has damage states and can be blown up. They've got custom engine effects and some model edits to clean them up. Overall, it's coming together. It's coming together. I was thinking like 75% of the size, these things are tiny. Yeah, but... What's important is that nobody knows that they're tiny, right? Because as long as I scale up the effects and everything, then they it'll basically be unnoticeable. Hey, girl. So I want to retain the scale by making sure the effects, even at shrunken sizes, are... Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I shrunk the engine effects on the frigate. You would never know, basically. There's no way to know that the ships are tiny. And that's, that's what's important. Um... Half, or Demon, thank you for the fiver. Read what Total Nerd said in chat. Oh boy, I gotta scroll up. Hold on. Total Nerd. Uh, can you make tiny AI fighters like Seraph's Longswords, etc. launch from player-controlled ships? Can make an attack run on enemies and they would dogfight with other craft? Is it possible? Um, is that possible? Team-based AI in reach... I don't know, it might be. Like, theoretically, yeah, it's totally possible. But... I would have to I would have to take a look a bit more on whether or not you can make the AI team based on multiplayer. 
It could definitely be done in a firefight mode. I'll say that with 100% certainty. Like, if I did a firefight mode where it was just, like, you and some friends versus the Coveys, like, if you're UNSC and all the enemies are actually the Covenant, yeah, I could make it so you can deploy, like, a squad of, like, pelicans and sabers and longswords out of the frigates and the Pillar of Autumn and stuff, and they can just, like, come flying out of your ship and then go do their own thing and fight. 100% that's possible. In multiplayer though, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some testing to find out if that works in multiplayer. Only reason I don't know for sure is because in multiplayer, the teams like red team, blue team, green team, etc. Uh, in Halo 3, those teams are automatically assigned to um, Those are automatically assigned to AIs, sort of, in like a weird way in the engine, but I don't know if they are in reach. Oh, that's a good looking cruiser right there. It's a good looking cruiser right there. I do want to do damage states really badly for the frigate so that I can take damage running into stuff, but... Ah, oh, it's a bit, it's a bit of a pain. It's a bit of a pain. I'm just, this should be fine. I don't know. It's, it's, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Ugh. For the frigate, all I really need to do is take the explosions and scale them down like 10 times. And then... As far as destruction goes, I can just make it break up into it, like many different pieces. I do, however, I do want to um, make the ship break into different pieces. I think that would be really cool. Damage section used on the Savannah frigate when it blows up? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. When the frigate blows up, it's going to basically just... Like how the Savannah is in that cutscene, that's how the frigate itself is going to blow up. It's going to be like, boom, 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 and then just go and it explodes into chunks. What about the carrier? Is that full scale? No, no, no. You have to understand. Everything is full scale. Or... Yeah, listen. Everything is full scale. The fact that I scaled everything down in the engine does not matter. It does not matter. Everything everything is sized down 10%. I just noticed the big old tip goal. Yeah, I couldn't come up with a good name for the tip goal. But well, maybe I can come up with something better for the tip bar. Hold on. It says big old tip goal. Let me switch it out to big space goal. Yes, that took so much effort to come up with. It's now big space goal. God, I'm so fucking smart. How do I do it? How do I do it? Are there animations of a Covenant cruiser blown apart in Halo 4? Really? Hmm. Well, I'll probably keep the explosions relatively simple. For, like, I don't have to do anything too, too crazy. Like... Here's, here's what I was thinking, so let me say this. Cruiser's small, destruction, right? So my idea was, I this is the shield that it uses. Cool little Covenant Cruiser shield, just kind of wraps around the whole thing. Yeah, we don't need the shield, we don't need the damaged variant, we don't need the shield collision model, or the regular collision model, or the physics model. And uh, I don't think we need any markers on it currently. And basically what I want to do is split this thing into lots of chunks. Demon, thank you so much for the fiver, man. Doesn't your Spartan fly out of the vehicle when your ship blows up? Would that ruin immersion? Uh, I'll just make sure that doesn't happen. All right, here's how I'm gonna split this up, okay? I sp oh, whoops. So I spawn in a plane, okay? Big plane, like this. And then I'm going to do a little thingy where I rotate it. Right? And then I, I'm going to do like a base. Like, where do I want this to split? For one, I want the head of the ship to come off. But I don't want it to just be like a clean split. So I'm going to add a couple of edges like that. And then I'm just going to kind of move them around. And then kind of rotate it like that. 
Let me move that like there. And it kind of, it'll like split right down the neck of the ship. Okay, and then all I have to do, literally, is add a boolean modifier on the plane, set it to fast. And wait, why does the plane, is it because it's not 2D technically anymore? Let me dissolve edges. No, it's too late for me. I've gotten too crazy, too wild. If I do it now, it should. This is how I do it, right? All right, new plan. We take the plane and delete it. Then we make a new plane. I'm sorry, we make a cube. Oh, it's, so, it's a massive cube. We scale it on the y-axis to 0 0.01. And then we scale it on the y-axis again to 0.1. And now it's still technically a 3D object. So what happens is, if I do the boolean modifier on the cube, the cube is basically splitting this into pieces, but now it's doing it in a way that's actually, like, good. So now I can do that same thing I was doing before, where I add a bunch of cuts in, and then I do this. Wow, wow. And I kind of, like, move it around and give it a little bit of, like, jagginess. I'm gonna like rotate the whole thing like that. And now I can apply that. And if I hide this and go to edit mode, you can see it's created a cut straight through the cruiser. Literally separate objects now. Clean, clean cut. So now the head is literally cut through. Now I just select the head and any bits that were attached there on this side. Oh, it looks like I missed one. There we go. Now the head, I can have this rip off into a separate object upon the ship being destroyed. So I am going to uh, separate that into a separate object. Hide this. And now I have to fill in this hole. Oh, no, wait. It's already filled in. Excellent. Does that mean the other one's filled in too? Nice, dude. I love Blender. It's so cool. Watch this, uh, mark sharp, right? Now the sharps are marked, so it's like a clean cut. And then I go here, do the same thing. Mark sharp, triangulate it, bing, bang, boom. Now these are, there's, there's two chunks for the ships when they blow up. Uh, what in tarnation is he doing? I'm making the ship uh, blow up into different pieces. So when I blow up these cool things, they'll just like... You know what I'm saying? Look, look. When I blow it up right now, it looks like kind of cool, right? Oh, that was so close. That was about to be like a fucking 180. Oh, that shield's down. All right, right now when I blow these ships up, they have like kind of cool effects. And then it does a final explosion that's honestly too large. And then the ship just disappears, right? There's no debris, nothing left over. So the goal is when I blow up a cruiser like that, instead of it just vanishing, I want it to, you know, chunkify. It'll be like, you know, it'll fly off and then, I don't know, be chunked. Big old chunk. Explosion isn't large enough. Bro needs chunks. Real. That's what I always say. People are like, you know, what do you, what do you really need in life? I'm like, chunks. How about it splits like right there? It makes sense that it would split like further back, like here. But... 
I don't know. I kind of want it to split like in the middle. I had noise. Is there like a noise thing? Where is the where's the noise tool in Blender? I never use it. Smooth randomize, that's what I want. He'll, oh no, I forgot it's not a plane. I should have made it a plane and then solidified it. Alright, whatever. I can just, I can get a little manual with it. You know, I'm not afraid of a little manual labor. This is, this is annoying. I lied. Watch in awe as I save time. Create a plane. Edit mode. Scale it up 100 times. Shrink it just a touch. Rotate it 90 degrees. Bring it over here. Subdivide it uh, four times. Then add a noise tool to it. Drag it out to get a strike. Oh my god. Okay, let's do like 25. No, how about 5? Okay, there. That's what I wanted. Noise like that, right? That's pretty good. Add zero gravity now! That's the plan. You missed a super chat, did I? I did! I'm so sorry, it's Agent Redacted. Agent, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Thank you for the two. Rejected, hi, how are you? I'm great. I'm having a great day today, actually. I've been enjoying myself substantially. So, I'm solidifying this plane. Look at that, I just solidified a plane. Isn't that exciting? Say yes. The answer is yes. It is exciting. That should be good. I don't know. It's kind of boring chunks, you know? Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll split it like this. Right, like down that way. It'll see. That's kind of cool. That's that's pretty cool. Let's try that. I want to do that for it. All right, boolean on the uh, plane. Fast. And delete the cube. Apply the boolean modifier. Hide the plane. And uh, you know, now it's split. Big old split right there. I can try my best to select all this stuff. The good news is, it already did the thing where it's all kind of selected. Anywhere that there's like a little dark black vertices in this area. A couple things left. I think it's... is that everything? No, there's something here. What are you? Is the insides of the hangars? Did I, oh, I split the hangers. Still more somehow. Okay, I think that's everything. So now that's the entire shit. Damn. I did not know the Halo Reach cruisers had an interior like that. I have to go look at that in-game. Hold on. Game speed zero. Age Redacted with another two. Thank you. Mm, I love Blender so much. Yes. Real. Okay, did you guys know that these... Where even are they, man? What? Is it these? Or is it all the way back here? Oh yeah, there's these. These hangers in the back are actually modeled for some reason. You can go inside of them. Huh. Neat. Well, anyway. Uh, let's see if I can't solidify this whole giant line here. 
Oh man, I made a real messy cut. This is gonna take a while. Well, not a while, but like two minutes. Which is horrible. Okay, okay. Progress. We're slowly selecting. We're, you know, we're, we're going... Oh, man. Th nah, you know what? I'm going to be honest. This is just too messy. There is so much geometry that I cut through here. <clears throat> okay, whatever. We're already going for it. We're already going for it. Let's keep going. All we need to do is hole up the inside and it should be fine. that everything more or less yeah okay what happens if I fill oh something going on down here let me let me inspect this area here what the fuck is this what the fuck is happening here what am I looking at Oh, it just never connects there. Uh, Age of Reacted with another fiver. Thank you so much. Also, yeah, I noticed the hangar uh, when I was working with a cruiser model for a Roblox game that's been in development for a long time. Huh. I guess I just never noticed it somehow myself. Is there a vertice here that I'm also missing? What kind of Roblox game has Halo ships, though? That sounds interesting. So I'm going to wager a guess that the entire issue that I'm having here, let me do this, watch in all vertex groups, assign. Now I've got all these edges saved, hopefully. And in this area where it's busted, I'm going to do something crazy. Merge at center. Select that again. Fill. My god. I mean, I'm crazy, man. I'm I'm insane. That's disgusting. That is maybe the most disgusting selection I've seen in my whole life. Ladies and gentlemen, I have bad news. I'm not splitting the ship right there. That is cursed. I will instead be... Sp oh wait, it's still split, hold on. I will split it here. Down its weak point. And that's probably gonna work better. Maybe. We apply it, we hide it, we go here. And everything looks, I don't know, a hell of a lot simpler, that's for sure. To be less obnoxious to work with. Wah, 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 wah. Spam the L key until I get everything. Or do this. Damn it. Okay, this one filled in really cleanly, which is pretty cool. Now I just gotta do the same thing for the back part. I don't know why it didn't fill in cleanly, but I have a feeling it will if I just give it enough of a push. Age of Redacted with another fiver, thank you so much. Uh, it's called The Forest, it's been in development for half a year and it's a solo project. No, it's not about the Steam game, it runs on custom lore. Oh, that's pretty cool. Is it Halo related? Because you know, we're talking about it having Halo ships in it. All right, that's disgusting, but it worked. You better believe it worked. 
Actually, it's kind of good, considering this is for destruction. The triangulation of the faces is horrifying, and I hate it, but... I kind of like that I hate it, because it's the destroyed innards of a ship, and it's not supposed to be pretty. This is also just cope, but, you know. Let me cope. Let's do Mark Sharps. Oh, whoops. Oopsies. Unmark these edges as sharps, then mark those as sharps. Mmm, that's looking good. That's looking pretty, pretty good. Let's triangulate it up real quick. Nice. Sort of. Not really. Good enough. Good enough. That central bulge needs to go away. That'd be a vapor cloud after the CCS detonates, because that's where the reactor is. The central bulge. Where? Which central bulge? You know what, I just came up with another good idea. If you're talking about this, that one, then what if I... Let me try something. What if I take this, right, the sheet plate that I've been using to instill damage into the uh, cruiser's model with, and I kind of just like give it a little bit of that, scale it up just a touch, shove it into the ship there, make sure it's got no open edges, and just... Do that. Add a boolean modifier, set it to the plane, I have to know. I have to know. If I have a giant plane like this, plane zero one, I, I do that. Can, will it just, I don't think it'll let me just like cut pieces off. Let me put it back, hold on. I really want to cut pieces out of this cruiser. I just want to cut it into little pieces. I just want to... I'm fucking losing it, man. I'm fucking losing it. Cut little pieces into a man. Okay, we do that. And then that. Hide that. Wait, that didn't do shit. This is the cube, right? Yeah, get rid of the plane. Sorry, it, it'd be slow right now. Wait, the fuck? Are we doing the oil wars again, by the way? Is that is that a thing that's happening again? Is that just what we've we've come to as a as a community here? It's just oil wars in the chat now. You're above such things, my people. Do not let them fool you. Oh, look at that! Look at that! There's a giant square chunk cut out of it. Watch this. If I do all of these, select them all, and then I shade smooth, But then uh, switch over to edge mode and deselect all the internal edges.
right? We just have the exterior edges. Mark Sharp. Wow. Now there's a giant chunk carved out of the top of the cruiser. We're making progress. We're doing it. The front's come off. The top has a giant crater in it. The back has come off. The ship's in shambles, man. Oil, oil, oil. Uh, yeah, okay. Look, 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 look. Guys, we gotta go get some oil, okay? UNSC needs oil, and there's only one place to get it. The Sangheelis. They've got the oil. Dinosaurs made oil. Like that's where the oil comes from. It's ancient dinosaurs. Everybody knows that. That's literally just science. Oh, that was a direct hit. Holy shit! I'm getting good with this railgun, the Mac gun. Woo! That was a Covenant cruiser. More oil. Direct hit. Shields are down. Ooh, that's another direct hit. Going for the third. I'm a fucking sniper, dude. Oh, there's one more. One more. Thin range archer missiles. It should not be allowed for it to be that satisfying to take down a fucking cruiser. You can do a burst, uh, wait. I think I remember the books, they could do a burst of three and five seconds. I do not doubt the books have said something like that, but there's something sweet and satisfying about a one powerful max shot, like a sniper rifle. something. That explosion's a little bit too big. I can't. I can't. It's just. Is it just me, or is that insanely satisfying? Like I, I. What, 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 what weapons do the Covenant ships have? Currently, there's only uh, some plasma torpedoes on them that are not quite set up and fully working yet. But they're also going to have. I think they're called plasma lances, where they're basically just these really big, powerful lasers. Going for that cruiser down there, and uh, they're also going to have like these ship mounted glassing beams kind of that are like a s they're basically going to be the gameplay equivalent of the mac cannons but they're not going to be like one shot instant damage it's going to be like slightly over time the 
shields are down again. I think that's everybody. No, there's one more. It's coming this way. I can see it just over this asteroid. Hold on. Motion tracker should be scaled? Yeah. I'd have to do that in the game mode settings, but I'm just in the mod tools right now. It's taking a ton of damage. It's got no health. Beautiful. I cannot wait to get a whole fleet. Like, it's gonna be so cool to have a giant assault carrier in the fight with, like, laser beams flying and shit. Oh, man, it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so fucking cool. Maybe we should do an assault... Should we do the assault carrier today? Like, just get it as a flyable ship in? That way I can just, like, throw on some laser beams on it and, like, just have a more interesting fight? I think that would be pretty fun. Okay, okay. We'll get the assault carrier working then. Uh, I'll pause on the uh, cruiser destruction. I'll definitely get back to this in a sec, because, I mean, more... Well, I guess it's more or less done, I suppose. Oh, no, I still need to do a material for the destroyed inside gibbs. And then I can just throw them in as individual pieces. That could work. You know, let's just do this real quick. Let's do this. This is a uh, cruiser... Small destruction, and this will be cruiser, small gib one, and this will be the uh, front chunk, and I will literally just uh, duplicate this, give it a convex hole, and that will become the cruiser gib one, this will be uh, collision. And I will set it to a collision model. Wait. Wait. I'm dumb. I need to do the material first. Let's find... Guys, what is... What are, like, the destroyed phantom pieces and stuff use in here? Like, can you blow up, like, um... I don't know, like a Covenant vehicle. Like, when a Wraith blows up, for example. Ever seen the Fracture add-on for Blender? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It chunks things together. I think it's built into Blender by default. You just have to enable it, right? I don't know if the Fracture add-on would work for this. Not sure. I think I've tried it before. I didn't have much luck with it. Maybe I just haven't used it correctly. Um, hold on. Let's do... Wraith vehicle? Might be good. Now, you know what? It's going to be in the render model, and it's not going to use a Wraith shader. It's going to use... Yeah, here. Um, so it uses the ripped open hex cage, the blast marks, the charred holes, and the ripped open tech. What is that? What does ripped open tech look like? Take me, Take me to the shader. Show me what you're made of. So, I don't know if in Reach they just use, like, ripped open... Covey tech stuff anymore. I think it's all. I think it's all just destroyed, like, stuff on top of it. Maybe I need to get with the program. You know what? You know what? I'm going to pause on the destroyed parts of this because I think I actually want to go all in with insane detail on the destroyed chunks. So I'm going to pause on it and come back to that shortly because basically what I want to have is like little bits of rebar sticking out of there and stuff. And I want to like take a destroyed Wraith model and like just start chunking like all the different pieces onto it and take the destruction very seriously. 
So I'll wait for that. And instead, we're going to do something that I've been waiting to do for a while, which is to make the super carrier, aka the assault carrier in our case, but make it really small. So that means taking the driver's seat and stuff and scaling it to 0.10. But first, you, know, you see the green is a little bit ahead of the, sorry, the y-axis is a little bit ahead there. And uh, the the axis is kind of a little bit ahead there. Scale 0.1. Looks pretty good. Okay, okay. This looks pretty good. Let's get this in. So if I save this to Super Carrier new folder. Super Carrier small. We'll get this in game super quickly. I think everything on it should be good. I I guess we don't need a weapon marker for it yet. Um, let's export this out real fast and see if we've got it all working. So let's make our super carrier small to so vehicles, rejected shotgun, super, what did I call it? Did I call it? Oh yeah, cov, super, carrier, small. The animation may not work for it. Let's see. If the animation graph spits out an error, so no major errors. I think I did set this up in the cursed way, but it seemed to work good enough. It is computing bounce lighting, which is promising. That means the mesh is actually in for it. Um, I did get the error with the animation graph update failing, but that might be a common thing. All right, let's try spawning it in. We'll see if um, see if that works. If not, I know how to fix it. I've encountered the error now like 20,000 times. Oh no, it just worked. Although, I think the physics model's cursed or something. It doesn't seem to be moving. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It might just be because it has no vehicle type. Let's give it a proper vehicle tag and then, then we'll actually know. So we go into our Covenant Supercarrier folder here, the vehicle tag. Go into the small one. Rename it to that, and then all we have to do is update the tag one time. Close all of these. Refresh our folders. Go into the supercarrier small vehicle folder. The model is showing up correctly, which is promising. Refresh the tag. Oh, pfft. we chose the wrong model on accident. Okay, the small one, please. Can I get in? Well, I can't move. But it does work. And it's shooting a cursed glassing beam somewhere over there. So besides the fact that it can't move... Probably because I screwed up the uh, collision in physics. Should actually be working good. Let me just uh, reposition these. I'll attach them to the super carrier bone. Parent to bone. Make parent, keep transform. Then we take all three of these. And this, we rotate Z90. Save, export it out again. See if we get those animation errors. Hopefully not. We are calculating direct lighting, which is promising. Doesn't the super carrier use the Halo 3 carrier for its model? I actually don't know the answer to that question. Oh, wait, that explains a lot. It automatically resets their type. So that's a render model. That is a collision model. And that is a physics model. We load one more time. Look at that beautiful ship. Look at that. Look at that beautiful ship. Bad news, we still can't move. Ah, 
Oh, probably because it's not done importing yet. Agent Redacted, thank you so much for the two. Rejected, check the M's. I sent some pics. Pics of what? That's vague and concerning. What if it's a picture of your butthole? I don't know if I want to check that, Agent. Alright? You just, you just come into my stream and say, Hey, check your DMs. Sent you some pics, boy. You're sussing me out. You're sussing... Oh, hey, it flies now. It's of the forest. Oh. Neat. Okay, give me a sec. Let me fix the camera on this. Sometimes I stream and I just like am looking like an absolute mess. Where the fuck am I? Hold on. Next up, driving high charity. I have done that before, for the record. Um, let's open foundation here. We need to grab a better camera track. I may actually be able to use one of the big ship camera tracks for this thingy. Because it's so insanely massive that... Uh, might actually just work. So let's see. In our Covenant Super Carrier, we have the Super Carrier camera track, which is way too zoomed out. I'm gonna try the full-sized frigate uh, camera track. Oh my god, it's like, it's like perfect. Okay, but obviously this thing turns way too fast. Uh, so we gotta, we gotta touch it up. I'm gonna give it the same speed as all the other ships really quickly. The cruiser. Vehicle has a really good speed to it. Right here, I'll copy this entire block uh, and replace it on the super carrier. But then I do need the flying torque scale to be like three or something because it's never going to turn in time. Oh my god, it's insanely massive, dude. Okay, the other thing we need is the uh, physics model on the super carrier. That's not the physics model. I'm going to do the same thing I do for all the ships, which is change their angular dampening to 0 0.5. And that makes it so, essentially, they they can, um, they don't, like, overshoot and overcorrect, like a, I don't know. They, they just don't bounce back and forth, basically. But I, it does seem to be able to turn pretty decently. Oh my god, this thing is enormous. Holy shit, it's gonna have some crazy ass weapons, that's for sure. Yo, this is gonna be so sick. I feel like this thing should be brighter though. Like it's cool and all, but it's really dark. Like is it just mirror the shaders for the ship and reach just insanely dark? Even the cruiser is like significantly brighter than it, and it's already pretty dark. H3 carrier is white. I mean, this thing is just shaded to be like, I don't even know. Is it like dark brownish? I know its textures aren't like that. I want to see now. Covenant Supercarrier dot render model uses. I, I want to look at its textures because there's no way. Yeah, LNS Long Night of Solace shader. Look at its albedo color. It's poop dark red. Okay, watch this. I'll save the poop dark red to right there so we don't lose it. I'm gonna make it pure white so it shows its true color. Oh wait, it's got two textures. Hold on. Switch it back to poop red. You know what? Why don't I just... I'm going to give it its own texture really quickly. Because it, it should have one. So, objects, vehicles, covenant. Um, covenant fleet, LNOS, shaders. I'll take all these. Go back to my folder. Covenant, super carrier, small. Make a little shaders folder for it. And I'm not going to give it long end of solo shaders. This is going to be... Uh, a, uh, I'll make it super carrier. Super carrier. Small. Super carrier. Small. Illum. And then super carrier. Small top. 
There we go. And then I can go into Blender and change those as well. And then just extract this out real quick. And on my super carrier shaders, now that I don't have to worry about editing the actual OG game shaders, uh, I can change it so that it uses the white base albedo color instead. Instead of that dark, dark red that you can barely see. I don't think it's using it yet. Let it cook, let it cook. I'm gonna be honest, it's still really dark. Is that right? It still looks dark red. It, it legit is like, oh, it is still using the original actually. Because I didn't update the shader paths. Whoops. Okay, now it should work. I'm in the background doing some mad cooking. Alright, see dark red? Barely see it. There we go. Look how much brighter that is. You can actually see the ship. I don't know why it had a base dark coating. Maybe to like make it stealthy and like fit with the mood or something. But yeah, this is what the full colored texture looks like. I think that looks better. What do you guys think? Better? Okay, so it's not just me. Because, like, I, you guys know I don't like touching the vanilla game assets. Like, if this, if the super carrier slash assault carriers in Reach are supposed to be dark red, part of me wants to leave them dark red. But I can't help but feel like this looks way better when it's not being overwritten by a random shader color for whatever scene it was used in in the cutscene and gameplay. It looks a lot better at its natural color. That, however, this is a super carrier right here. Looks insane. That is very different from this thing. This is like a proper assault carrier, shipmaster's assault carrier or whatever. And then BAM! This is the real deal right here. You know the super carrier is actually colored purple in its textures as well? I ported this to Halo 3 one time. Look at it, it's got like these dark ridges and stuff in it. It's not supposed to be this... Well, it is supposed to be this purple, but... It actually has a different color scheme to it. You know what? Let me let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Hang on. We got uh go to the Covenant Fleet Super Carrier Shaders. Do Super Carrier I think it's NWO. Which I'm not sure what that stands for. Oh wait. Yeah, the actual super carrier texture, the one that we were just looking at, the big purple one, is actually kind of bluish normally. It's not supposed to be purple. Or, well, I, that's that's a cap. It is supposed to be purple, but... Uh, boo! Uh, Agent Redactor, thanks for gifting a membership. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. What am I looking for? Diffuse contribution one. Let's do zero. And test it. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. But anyway, it's it's actually like kind of bluish normally. It looks really ominous though. Like holy shit, look at those lights, man. Terrifying. What even is that? I have I don't know what that is. That's crazy looking. Hey Jordan, thank you for the two. Rejected chances of you showing pics on stream. You want me to show your content on stream? What about my content, Agent Redacted? Hmm? Yeah, I will. Give me a second, show some people if you want to see. Or if you want them to see. Yeah, super carrier looking pretty spicy. I'm liking it. Uh, but now 
I could just throw some AI in it. But it doesn't have destruction states or weapons or anything. Alright. It do be pretty cool. What weapons should I have on the assault carrier? I'm still kind of debating it. But first, let's just make it so the AI can use the assault carrier really quickly. Because I think it'd be, be kind of cool. You know, it'd be, it'd be a little bit, just a teensy bit cool. So we go AI, generic character. We scroll, 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 super far. Until we find weapon properties. And then right below it, we have vehicle properties. I can grab the Cub Cruiser small, duplicate it, swap out the vehicle style for the Covenant super carrier small. I scroll down a bit more to the flying movement properties, duplicate this one, and also just grab the super carrier small. And now AI characters can use the ship. Cool. Let's spawn one in. So we grab squads, this is the squad that has everything, make a new cell. Squad will have five characters by default. The spawn points will include a new spawn point, right? Let's do it right here. And this will have one character with driver's seat, vehicle type super carrier, character type elite pilot. We will move him here, rotate like that, probably. Let's place him right here in place of the old scenery one, right? And then delete the old scenery one. Let's see, save, refresh. Oh, he's got some he's got some real rotation going on. Delete the vehicle version and uh, fix his positioning because that that spawn point ended up being a little rough there. Why? <laughs> Why does he start at that angle? What's happening? Facing... Oh, because the yaw was down, I think. And he had roll. Save, refresh. And now he's positioned like that. Let's go in game. Let's fly around him. Engine effects for sure. Oh, he's turning. Collision model's not hooked up yet, so I can't deal any damage to him yet. Oh, the physics model is, though, and it's kind of crappy. I can't fly through the hole in the ship yet. It made it really lazily. Look at the size difference. That's wild. Alright, you know what we need to do now. I don't think there's any point in the map where you can't see the super carrier, so it might be kind of pointless to put one of those little lights on it, but I kind of want to do it anyway. 
But alright, it's cool that I set up an AI for it, but that is really getting ahead of myself because there's a couple things we need to be able to, or that we need to do for the supercarrier. It's pretty straightforward. One, you need to throw some engine effects on the bad boy so that way we have some engines on the back, those three holes right there. I should be able to just recolor some stuff blue and make it work pretty well. Um, on top of that, I need to make it so the it has a better physics model, and I need to give it some health as well and a big old shield to top it off, which I don't know, should be pretty easy actually. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's do the engines first. I think engines will be pretty fun. So this crappy physics model that I have here. This is what the physics model looks like. It's it's really bad. Um, I think what I'm going to do is make a quick and dirty physics model for it. Nothing like that's bad, but um, we hide the collision model, duplicate the render model, and then yeah, now I need to start just splitting this into a bunch of different pieces, basically. So let me grab the illumination stuff. Won't need that for the physics model. And now I should be good to start um, kind of just ripping it into individual pieces for the physics model. I'm gonna try doing this like really quickly because I mean, I can't lie, this is some pretty boring stuff right here, but it'll really help with gameplay. What is this? Is that the center point? Oh, it is, okay. Okay, so that's the whole bottom section. That should be able to turn into a big convex hole. This little space there should be fine. And I'll grab this as a whole chunk. Nice. Then we'll grab this as a big old chunk right here. See if that one works good. It should might have some dead space that I need to fix. Eh. That could get annoying. Let me try chunking this part into uh, like a little, a little bit more detail. Uh, Demon, thank you for so much for the fiber, man. I don't know what the destroyer has, but this would be a good excuse to make a weapon that fires one giant needle that sticks, then explodes. I feel like you've been asking for like so many different vehicles with that same concept. Just like, hey man, how about this time we get a vehicle that, uh, you know, just, uh, this one shoots a big needle. How do you feel about, do you feel about big needles? Do you like big needles? Do you like jazz? Let me just start doing this, separate by selection, convex hull, this one. I'm just going to take all these little points in here and turn them into like individual shapes. Because I know they're little separate objects. Okay, not bad, not bad. I think I should probably split this next back part down the middle so I can do um, some mirrored stuff on it. I think I'll mirror it. Hey, Demon, thanks so much for the tenor. Appreciate it. And every time I suggest it, you always say it's a great idea, then never do it. Also, to show how much of a delay the stream has, I'm saying it's at 8.24 p.m. EST. Stream doesn't have a delay. It's on like super short delay. I didn't read that immediately. I mean, there's my brain delay. <laughs> That is a thing that happens. All 
All right, let's see if I can't split the split the super carrier down the middle and save myself some time. Nice, nice. Okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. What happens if I select this? <gasps> I can work with that. That's not bad. What about this? Is all one piece? Ooh, yeah, that's a that's a big old piece. I'm gonna get a little creative with that one. I'm gonna get rid of some of these extra chunks here. Are a bit unnecessary for the physics model itself. Like this can be separated. 